guys, it's Gerard here reminding you once again that A, starting with Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, I'm back on Super Beer Brothers for good. I'm not a guest, and sometimes series will just be Brett and Alex, and sometimes they'll be me in the mix as well. But it's our 10th anniversary, and I'm back with a capital B, baby. And speaking of our 10th anniversary, all year long, we're going to be doing a show called the Anniversary Collection Collection. And the first game in the series is Sonic Origins, which includes Sonic 1, Sonic CD, Sonic 2, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which Alex and I will be playing together just like old times, complete with trivia very, very soon. The whole series is going to be released on YouTube once it's done, but as we finish each game, we're going to be putting them live early for all of our Patreon members, starting with our full playthrough of Sonic the Hedgehog, which is available to all members right now. So yeah, I'm back. Every single one of these games is going up to be on Patreon first, and you can sign up right now at patreon.com slash superbeerbros, starting at just five bucks, which will also give you access to our entire Master Beard Theater library. Thanks for the support, and... Watch Beer Bros! Hi! Hey! We be the Beer Bro! Be be be! And we're playing a little Mario Sunshine for you. Hold it, Shadow Mario! I'm sure that'll work. Us, like, telling him to stop moving, he'll stop moving. This is still the coolest place in the game. It looks even better in 16.9 than it did in 4.3. I'm loving it. And I'm loving y'all for watching. Hopefully you guys are still having a good time. Is this guy serious? How can he go in the water? That's what I'm saying! Make it make sense. Oh, word, bro? Okay, I see you. Like, we're merely using water against him. What the? What is going on here? What does he know that we don't know? That's what I'm saying. Hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> Was that not the greatest yeah. shot you've ever seen? Him like, you're an idiot. You can like, kind of see him. Thanks for hanging out with us, y'all. Mr. Blue Jeans. Oh, you got it, you got it. We can do it again. Oh. He's still like, busting He's, stuff. Like, doing like, little kickflips and shit upstairs. <laughs> you can hear him. What if that's what it sounded like to like do tricks on a skateboard? Ooh. Like if someone did a successful kickflip every time it was like sound like fucking Mac from Always Sunny like doing stuff. I'd be into that. I'd probably, yeah, I'd would probably skate, yeah. It would be cooler, I'm not gonna lie. It's like how it is in Tony Hawk, it's like BAM! Oh, with the, the special? Yeah. That's how it is in Power Rangers. Like every time they do something cool, not even, they'll like move their heads slightly to the left and it'll be like <laughs> Yeah, like whips, like Wind like coursing around their face. Like how fast are they moving? Why do they why do they move like that is the bigger question. Like what exactly? I wish you guys could see. I don't think Power Rangers move like they, that. They're bro. so precise Emotive? with their mo, mo their yeah, they move like Disneyland ride guys. I think it's because you they have no mouth. Yeah. And it's to show the little kids who are watching. This is the character that's talking. These guys are very self assured. It is funny that all of them, you see none of their faces at any time when they're a Power Ranger. Real nice for the stunt work, huh? Just hilarious. Just hilarious. Like, imagine if the Avengers, like, just you didn't see their faces, any of them, ever. That's like the money. That's like the producer's nightmares. Yeah. Also, notice this dude got so far away from me just now. The music changed. He's like, it's not a boss fight anymore. Look at this asshole. Do Are we gonna do the whole circuit again? Oh, Fuck. do you think there's a world where Power Rangers could just be like mouth out? What do you mean? Like, like as opposed to as opposed to like a weird metal mouth that <laughs> looks like a mouth that has a mouth carved onto it? Uh huh. Do you think they could just be like Batman? Like, oh, I see what you're saying. Mouth out. I mean, they could, but like that defeats the purpose of like armor, a low budget show. I know, I know, <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, could you? Would you be down? For like Power Rangers with no bottom half of at, their face. At this again? Okay. So what do they want from us? This is just, just forever then? Just to go in there is what they I want. see. Yeah. Alright, buddy. They're so, just like, hey, you didn't do this yet. Hey, you didn't do this yet. You better pay attention to it. I understand. Uh no man, I don't want no I don't want to see no Power Ranger mouth. 
At this point, it's like, no, it's tradition. You know what I mean? Is it a Shazam scenario or are they just in a suit? I think it's more of a Shazam scenario. Because they call it morphin. Like, like even yeah. though it just looks like they put on a suit. Well, they definitely don't put on a suit. Like, but like they just go like this. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> like they don't the Power Rangers don't put on suits, but somehow they're in the suits at a certain point. Yeah. And I think that pro even though it looks like the only thing that's changed is they're now they're wearing something different. You think they're kind of like a super warrior now? I think th I think that's that's the conceit. Alien super warrior. Right. Yeah. Alien body uh, super warrior. No difference in like physio physi physiognomy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Ex I imagine that there's been dead rangers. Look, man, I've read a lot of Power Rangers comics. Those motherfucking comics get into some stuff. I've definitely dead rangers. Yeah. But when they die, is it like somewhere they like unfreeze and then their body's like normal, but they're dead? Oh, like they unmorph on death? Yeah. Like what happened? Like what? what's Good going on? Good question. Because I remember being like seeing like ranger costumes like ripped up and shit. Here's my when question. It's, when it's what's his name? Dakin. Are you like... His name's not Dakin. <laughs> uh, it's it's Dakin. Are you... If you were to morph, Alex... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Could you take off your suit? That's kind of where my... That's kind of my line of questioning is all about. I In my mind, I would be like a fit ranger. And I my body would be the suit. Like, it could even be a robot. I don't know. Like, the other thing is a fucking robot, so why not? But, like, here's the thing. We've seen the Rangers morphed. Yeah. With helmet fully off. Uh-huh. Right? We've seen that. Morphed with helmet fully off. Yes. Yes. Could you, like, morph and then just take off your boots? You know what I mean? I don't know. What's under there? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Yeah. That's a good question. Power Rangers. Bodies. What's up? How do they... How do they do it? And we actually... Please don't tell us in the comments. We don't want to... I don't actually... I'm not going to read it. Oh, this is cute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's all there. I'm not asking because the easiest way that I can find out is by asking someone one month in advance across, <laughs> exactly. across my television show. Oh. What? There's, okay. Interesting. So we need to get the fish and a few more or mm, no? No. Oh, they were all in the fish. It just sometimes. Oh, look. The fish comes together. Discorporates. Oh. It's like Dr. Manhattan. September. 2001. I am a fish. I was a fish. I am back to fish form. I, do, I allow the plumber. Are you killing it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ted, yes. 35 seconds later, I am the fish again. Oh, you're whoa. Like, you're like eating it. Whoa. What's going on with y'all? You guys dead or are you guys praying? A little oh. bit of both. They're just chilling. They're fine. What's the here. difference, Alex? What? Mm. Damn. Mm. I don't mm. even know what that fucking means, but I'm... <laughs> That's fucking hardcore, dude. Damn, Ted, going in. A <laughs> little bit of criticism, huh? I, guess, I think. Right? Yeah, letting us do the work and <laughs> do, do deciphering what you actually meant by that, huh? <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> That's true. He's like, absolutely. Those are those those verbal option selects that I hate, that non-committal shit, where somebody will reply to something with just like, yikes. I'm like, what are you expressing? Yeah. I'm scared Nothing. of this. Like, you're just expressing something and hoping that somebody then can say something that's actually more specific so that you can know how popular opinion is going to lean. Is actually, the worst, the, actually, the worst one is imagine. Like, can you imagine? Like, somebody, no, like, you say something, uh, like, uh, make like a hot take. What's a hot take? Uh, Sonic uh, hot Adventure. Pockets. Mm, yum. Mm, hot Pockets. Yum. Hot Pockets are really good. And then I comment below it. Imagine thinking Hot Pockets are really good. Yeah, oh, that's uh Oh god, I hate that. Yeah, it makes it, yeah, it makes no sense like, oh, like what you're just saying you disagree with me? Cuz if you really think about like if someone were to type that, you're just saying like I disagree with that sentiment. And then yeah. you're just like kind of oh Reginald, you I just, disagree. You're yeah. just kind of like a sad person who's just typing online that I disagree with you person whose video I just watched. You're like home like I disagree. Right. That's the yeah. that's that equivalent. Yeah. You're not like trying to start a conversation. It, it seems more like, "Am I right, peers?" It's like it's like it's like walking your dog past a table with two people talking, hearing something that they say, uh -huh. being like, "Sorry, no," and then just like, yeah, continuing to walk past. And the them. way that you would get treated if you did that in real yeah, life is the like, way that what the fuck? That's the way I it feels treat people like. online. Yeah. I'm like, what? Scroll past. Who is this person? This guy behind me in line at the post office has something to like say about something I'm reading on my phone. Like Negro, who yeah. are you? Who are you? 
back the fuck up. I don't get it. I don't get, I don't even get the like premise of it. Like, what am I supposed to pretend like is the case? My favorite one is. Dude, this place fucks. And by my favorite, I mean my least favorite is. <laughs> the definition of insanity <laughs> is trying something over and over, the same thing and expecting a different result. Because it's always coming from like, like you don't understand how science works. You like nobody understands what that means. You have no idea how science works or practice. <laughs> right, right. Like, like you don't understand practice. like practice that what appears to you like the, you myopic fucking asshole. The what appears thing. to be the same thing over and over is actually slight, m like m micro corrections to yeah. try and like learn or have a good time. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, yeah. real science. And then they like they did they like some people will just say that smugly. You know what I find? And it's not even the real definition. No, yeah. And you know no, what I you not. know what I find is that people often don't realize what they're saying. Like Oh, just like parroting. Somebody somebody gave me some compliment the other day. I said I liked a game and they were like, "I you know, it's funny cuz I I actually prefer games with some semblance of fun to them." Or something like oh. that. What the fuck does that mean? Somebody like somebody said something like that, and I believe that they were just trying to imply uh -huh. that, like like a totally like normal opinion. Okay. Like I think they were trying to just say that they think this one's more fun than this one, but I don't think it occurred to them that they were like fucking smugly insulting yeah. me. Yeah. A guy who did, was not talking to them who just expressed an opinion. Yeah. And I think it, it's just literally a lot of it is that like people watch people say shit and hear people say shit and they think they know what it means and they say these things. They want to sound smart or they want to sound uh, erudite or they want to mm -hmm. sound like they're talking like one of those TV guys that talks with really good those ideas. Those TV guys! One of those TV guys that has the really good sentences or whatever. And then they say some shit like that, and they and 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 then you get on them and you're like, what the fuck did you just say to me? What the fuck? And then they're like, I'm being prosecuted for my beliefs or some shit like that. Dude, who are you getting into it with? This is ridiculous. It's the internet, dude. Also, I am untouchable. This is- oh, oh never oh, mind. Oh, man, they said- what'd you say? Oh, ah! Fucking Roger Rabbit over here. Yeah, I, yeah, think I mean, look, I will agree 100% with, like, the- I think- what I think is- The vitriol the basis. seems even worse than it is because people don't know what they're saying. I'll agree what I think is the basis of your sentiment, which is I think most people out there don't give any or enough thought to what they say before they express it. Yeah. They're not aware of like all the words they're using and what they mean when they write the sentence. They're like, and you know, and another problem is that a lot of the time they're also assuming familiarity with you, a stranger. And so imagine. Assuming yeah. Imagine familiar. acting like that. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine being wrong. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this fucking thing. I don't actually think that uh, most people believe that words can be so specifically used. Uh, that that breaks my heart. As someone that loves words, and uh, as a person who that, you know thinks they're great and can be a great fun tool. As a person who has no idea why it's hilarious when. AI writes and not hilarious when AI draws a picture. Uh, I don't, you know, I, it makes I, I don't have a lot of hope for the written word. Great. Like makes writing, writing is like already dead. <laughs> All right, tight, tight. People who write good, people can't understand them. Hmm. Uh, except other people who like educate themselves. Yeah, like, that's depressing. Yeah, like the reading level of good writers oh. is like beyond the people that should be reading it. But hey, it's all good, you know. Uh, it's not that good. Okay, never mind. It was not good. Guys. It's not good. <laughs> it's good not here. Good. Where you know, it's good in the in Manta Ray Land. I didn't. I didn't understand. I I, I. 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 fucked up. I can't get over the fact these guys sound like birds. It just sounds like a bunch of seagulls about to come get some bread. These things hurt. Look at this. It doesn't seem like you should be able to not be like it, you should be able to hover. Oh, now you can? can. Maybe I have to start with a jump to make sure I'm not like close enough to the ground. Maybe that's what it is. Because before I was just it busting like they the had hitboxes. Yeah. Yo. 
That was a nice one, huh? Wow. That was like the most lethal most lethal you've been. Yeah, we got get, combos. You better, you better some, yeah, you better get some coins. I got these are my last three coins, I think. Oh, the mayor of Pizza Town. <laughs> pizza pizza bye bye. That dude is not a human, and yet somehow he looks exactly like the dude on the delivery pizza bar. Yeah, I, mean, I know the guy. Yeah. I know the guy. The guy who's like <laughs> doing the axle foley. Yeah. That's not so bad. This is... This is outrageous. Like, this isn't hard. It's just outrageous. Did I actually run out of water? Okay. Okay. So... Okay. Okay. That's fine. These combos are tight. These are tight. I can't believe that is a thing. Okay, wait. There's some coins on that tree. Were there really? Right? That tree that you just walked past. Okay. First things first. I guess that was my fault for not paying attention to... My water level. Okay. Can you go in the water and get healed? That's not how that works. Like Mario 64 vibes? Yeah, I don't think. This is sunshine, baby. Water is too abundant. I got two hits before Yo, this I'm is actually there. like not bad. But yeah, that tree right ahead of you has, has coins on top. I'm trying. I just don't want to, you know. Actually, they all do. Fuck. Which is, you know, that's encouraging. They all do. Like, I don't want to, like, try and go for the tree and get ruined. You know what I mean? You saw how they comboed me. That, I would, that's, like, not even fair. What if I told you there is no fair? In oh, Manta right oh now. shit. Mantas have no sympathy. Is there, like, something you need to be killing? Or are, are there really just this many? It's this many, I think. There's not, like, a queen? That would make me sad. Well, maybe you're there, though. Maybe this is it. Yo, that this was actually it. like pretty effective. Okay, okay, okay. Is it now the big man pajama comes out? Oh no, the hotel is back. Hey, yo, this is like some Twin Peaks shit. This is like some <laughs> that's some wild shit. Hotel Delfino. Oh god, it's huge. Three stories. Beautiful. How did we even start talking about that bullshit? What bullshit? Like internet? Uh, like specifically people, people don't know how to read? People not thinking about what they say before they say it? How did we start on that? Uh we were talking about Ted. Were we? Yeah, we were like Ted Ted said something and then we like did a bit about like Ted like what Ted say coming across as something totally different and then we were like But people who are actually like that are actually dumb. Did we? Yeah. Man. That seems like two episodes ago. That's how intense that fight was. Back I go. That's how angry I get. Yo, wasn't that last episode? No. I'm where, confused. Where I said like I'm the um actually guy. Yeah, that was last episode. That was that was a different that was a different uh Oh that was different. That was a different conversation. That was a different series altogether. Hello everyone. Hi. It's me, the celebrity Mario. We were just hiding. We were on vacation, but we were waiting. We already had our rooms booked. Oh. Oh, is this the ghost house? Yeah. Oh, yes. You like this? I love ghost houses. In, in like, Mario? Or yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa. Mario ghost house is like, oh, fuck. What's wrong with these ghosts? Oh, I thought someone said something to you in while you were playing a game, and you brought it up? I have no, I do not remember. It had something to do with something that you said, but it wasn't like you being an idiot. It was like it was like us making a joke off something you said, as uh, if as if you were being like an idiot. Ted, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. <laughs> no, we were just purposely misinterpreting what you said, and then we got sidetracked by that type of person that we made up. Okay. Oh, Boreal. Made up, no, but like we're actually talking about. Yeah, these, these ghosts are these dudes look strung out. <laughs> This is this says the hotel lobby secret, which makes me think it might be one of those uh, do 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 levels. Is it like one of the doors? Maybe. If it's the lobby, like it's not upstairs, right? Correct. But I'm very curious. Look about at those this. eyes, dude. Poor guys. Are they okay? What's going on with them? I don't feel good. Man. Oh wow! Look, full on second floor. Yeah, I mean, I assume there was one, but huh. the secret to the unless maybe you got to fall down into the lobby again. It's possible. 
Let's tr- hey, hey, is that a door? Is that like traversable? Oh, sh- oh, he said, uh oh, I tried to open it, but you know what? It's not open. Yeah, that's called a hotel, Mario. You fucking nitwit. Like, I'm just trying to, you know, how like disturbed I would be if I was in a hotel room and someone were like, like, like someone were trying to get in and I was like, can I help you? Hello? And they were like, oh, sorry. I'd be terrified. You know I what I mean? Th- I would be like in my bed holding my covers like a fucking cartoon. Yeah. Hello? Fuck that. When Jerry's staying in Kramer's apartment and there's a ventriloquist dummy in there and he hears him at night. <laughs> he goes, the fucking Hello? sinister pitter patter? Yeah. <laughs> I tried every door. It's impossible, you guys. Just such a good bit about like being in your weird friend's house and it weirds you out. Yeah, where like something clicks on in the night. Yeah, and you're like, what the and fuck? And it's like, ah, uh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> My heater is like literally like sounds like a man hitting a baking sheet with a bang with like a bang, hammer. Yeah. Bang. You're like, oh right, the heater. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Lexa just answers a question nobody asked. I don't like oh, when Alexa's yeah. like, hmm? I don't know anything about human sacrifice. You'll just be like chatting. <laughs> You'll be like chatting and quietly in the background, she's like, hmm? Yeah, I hate like, that. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I wasn't talking to you. Yeah. Maybe there's I don't know. Something going on. What's what's up with the like little symbol on the like gate? A little fire symbol? That looks like it looks like the fire shutters, you know what I mean? Like an emergency, so So do you have to put out the fire? What fire? I I don't know. There is some fires, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, is that what it is? These are these permanently. That's mega fire, dude. Can't do that. It's Olympic mega Oh. Oh, you can. Oh. All right, let's try it out. If this is how it, if this is the solution, though, like what? This is an Olympic mega fire. Shout outs to this like earthbound ass music in here too. I would not want to stay in this hotel. Like even if it were uh, ghost free. I like how much water is in the lobby. Hmm. But I don't like the shape of this hotel. Yeah. I love where it is, though. Sure. I'd love to get up early and have a cup of coffee. I feel out like there. the only thing down here in the lobby is it in there? Is these bathrooms? Was well, it just like through that door, maybe? Like the one that's like a horseshoe right there. I haven't fucked with that yet, but I will. Looks like it is a room. You never know. Sometimes bathrooms have secrets. Yeah, you're right. In, re- in real life, you know what I mean. I have discovered things in bathrooms. Like? Like one time I found a jacket. Oh, you took that jacket? No, I took it to the lost and found. In your trunk? No. Uh, one time house. My, my sister worked worked at Rock and Bruce, and one time she found a lady in the bathroom whose water had broken. <gasps> and helped, helped her have the baby. Are you serious? Uh, your yeah. sister helped deliver a baby? Uh-huh. No way. While she was on sh- on her shift. What is Rock and Brews? It's like uh kind of like kind of like Hard Rock Cafe. I see. It's owned by I think Gene Simmons. I see. And it's like a kind of like rock themed brunch place that's not that good, but it's like all right. Damn, I thought that was the secret right there. There's one in Redondo Beach and there's one by Nuts Berry Farm and there's one in the airport. I thought for sure the secret was in one of these bathrooms. I thought it was going to be the fire. Yeah. What about the other ghosts? What do we shoot the... Yeah, one five one. The white ghosts? Do they do anything? Shoot the white ghosts. No, they just freak out. Oh, wait. Is he, did he get smaller? No way. Do you have to just, like, bust all of them? He loves it, Alex. Well, that guy got soaked. So I'm going to say that's not it. <laughs> he, he loves it. <laughs> Maybe I'm just supposed to keep going upstairs. What's, what is it? It's called the hotel the lobby. Hotel lobby seat. Hold on. Let me talk to this guy. Hey, there's a door in the bathroom. Right, right. All you got to do is jump three times. Ugh. Home? Can't you that do something? What about you, baby? Check out of the hotel. Hey. Hey. Oh, he does have a dialogue. Maybe I'm supposed to go upstairs, huh? I guess so. Weird name for the level if this is what I'm supposed to do, though, right? 
for the lobby secret? Yeah. Is the secret that there's more floors? <laughs> the secret is you're not supposed to be here. Secret is get out of the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Oof! Oh! I'm just gonna do this. Oh, and then you go in there, and that's the secret. You think? <laughs> right in the ghost mouth. Oh shit! Yep. Ah! Doop 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 doop. Bye, bitch. Do, oh, do, just do. waving with your knuckles is creepy to me. Because he has lizard claws. Oh, yeah. That's right. His fucking nails are in his fucking fingers. Ugh. What if I immediately die right there? Are these Goombas? What are these? I think they're the other ones, Galoombas. Because I remember they were like, the ones in Mario Super Mario World are Goombas at first. Uh -huh. And then everybody was like, those don't look like Goombas. And they're like, oh, that's because they're Galoombas. <laughs> Sorry about that. Because Goombas are not mushrooms. They, they're shaped like them, though. They're chestnuts. What? Yeah. So how nostalgic is that sound effect? Yeah, I know. But I mean, if you think about it, right? There already are mushrooms in Mario. Mario. Like, the toads, like, are mushrooms. So why would they make, like, another... I don't know, if you can have one mushroom-based race, why not two? I know, but like every other- like, there's not like two- well, you know, Mario has a lot of races. <laughs> wait, finish that sentence! I was gonna say, there's not two bird races in Mario. It's like, wait a minute. I, I don't know if there is or not, that's, that's just- the I'm a little bit that there are. Also, I wonder what's going on down there. Break it with your butt. Break. Actually, go down the stairs. Oh! oh! Dude, that- yeah, I hate that, that fucking struggle for life animation. Like, what's that for? Like, to make you scared. To make you scared. <laughs> me, of death. the player. Yeah, to make you not want to kill poor Mario. Hi, Ted. Hi, Ted's I see scooting you. Scooting on out. Ted, I don't know why you're scooting out. You know what we're trying to do. <laughs> you know what this is. I'll tell you what, Ted. Here's what I'll promise you. When we get to the end of this level, we'll think about wrapping up the episode. How about that, Ted? Do you have somebody to shine a light on? I hope you do. I just need your ass. Needs to be thinking about. <laughs> oh, he's old. <laughs> He oh shit, like, he's oh, back oh, to Google. Oh shit, my bad, my bad. He's like, nice types of people. Yeah, okay. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> list of people that the Beard Bros like? Oh. Yeah, there's stuff going on down there. I think you can fall there and then there's like an alt road. Like a little bit of a safety net? Yeah. Oh god. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh shit. I'm okay. Nerve wracking. Speaking of nerve wracking. Okay, so this thing like moves, eh? It def. <laughs> <laughs> the definition of insanity, Brett, is do. <laughs> I want to shine a light on people who aren't insane. Clean. That was good. Honestly, as like dicey as that those jumps looked, mm -hmm. you've been nailing them every time. Thank you. Can't believe I'm dying. I've died twice to the same like I can't oh I saw a video of that online. Like a guy on top of like an old European crumbly rooftop, like taking a picture or something with his phone. Oh no. And it just like gives way at the edge oh. just, Yeah, dude, it was Brutal. Every time, every oh, time I watch oh. one of those urban exploration videos, that's what I think about. Oh, go through that watermelon, like one. That can one. you go through watermelons? Yeah, you can go through watermelon. Next <laughs> 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 I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> I knew you could go through watermelon. How did you know that you could go through watermelon? I just like they seem like malleable. They seem <laughs> they seem melonable. They just they you want to hit them. Gallagher. All right, Ted. What do you got? When you are interacting with people who are doing their job, yeah, that you wouldn't typically tip, that could still go out of their way to like start up a conversation or chat with you. Can you give me an example? Like a a cashier is like, "How's your day going?" Somebody who's oh. who's not trying to get money out of your pocket. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And still treating you like a human being. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's like a theme to these. I feel, I feel like. <laughs> I wonder what it is. I feel like it, it it's pretty rare. Agreed. Rare-ish. Agreed. Uh, and it's r refreshing and pleasant oh. when it happens. Especially in customer service. Yeah. Oh. Well, that was awful. So that's pain. 
This is pain. Holy fucking Ultron ass line. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Pain. Ah, oh, pain. Also, this looks like something I should kick a fruit into. I bet you you'll get like a a coin. Man, yeah, probably. But look how pain of it, pain in the ass it is. Yeah, I'm not. Gonna, I'm like, I'm not gonna do it. All right. Also, this guy throws you. I think. <laughs> I just love how lost he looks up here. Hey. He's been up here forever. He has like a dog vibe. Oh. Yeah, look, he's gonna chuck you. I have the power to change your destiny. Oh, you don't have a coin. Nah, I'm broke as a joke, baby. Alright, guys, next time on Super Beard Bros. Mm -hmm. What? Uh ghost time. Ghost time? We're gonna go fuck those ghosts up. Those high drunk ghosts. Those <laughs> lustful ghosts. We're gonna take so much advantage of them. Those fucking nasty, lustful ghosts. Like they're gonna be like stoned? We're not gonna be stoned. No, that's how that's why. They're it's gonna, gonna be put in their place for also smoking drugs. Incredible. Dude, I've seen that on TikTok. Dude, that's a mood. We'll see you guys there. Hey! Hey!